I hope that you have had an amazing time of worship, that you feel encouraged and convicted about going forward this week as a people, as Oscar Romero put it, an Easter people. We are an Easter people. We are a people defined by Easter, not necessarily just by Christmas, but the, the resurrection of Christ. That's what makes us Christians. We are an Easter people. Um, so one of the passages that's in the lectionary today, I thought I would read as we end our time. It's 1 Peter 1, 3 through 9. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an, an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed at the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now for a while you have had to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than gold that, though perishable, is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Although you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy. For you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. And finally, here is a benediction that I found um, based on Acts 1. People of God, let us not just stand here gazing into heaven as the disciples did after they saw Jesus leave. Instead, let us take up the mission that Jesus left us to be his witnesses, to tell everyone we meet who Jesus is and how he has changed us. And may the grace of God the love of Jesus Christ, and the presence of the Holy Spirit go with us all. Amen. I pray you have a blessed week.